In this Out of the Park 25 video, I am going to talk to you about the one thing that the Out of the Park team must fix right now in order for the Out of the Park 25 to be playable. You may be thinking, wow, is the game crashing every time Pat plays it? No, it's much worse than that. You may be thinking, uh-oh, did the AI trade Adley and Gunner from the O's? Again, much worse. So maybe now you're starting to think like, wow, this is really serious. Man, is Out of the Park 25 making you listen to Creed every time you play the Rangers? I've got bad news. It's even worse than that. You know, I've been hoping and waiting, thinking that there'd be like a 30 for 30 on this topic, a baseball bits. I mean, even my local Fox affiliate, who blows every story out of proportion to be the end of the world, hasn't picked up on this very serious story yet. So I must take up the mantle and be the hero we all need. So let me talk to you. So I need to talk to you about one of the best pitchers in the American League last year, Kyle Bradish, and his ratings in Out of the Park 25. I do want to say a quick word. This is tongue-in-cheek. Yes, I know the ratings are based off zips, but sometimes the Out of the Park team will tweak the ratings. You know, I mean, I've seen some some things put on the forums. We've tweaked the ratings of Yankees players. Yankees players. I saw Max Fried get a boost. I saw someone argue for that. And and Max Fried was boosted. But and Yankees players. Let me just drive that home again. Yankees players had their, their ratings boosted because some people in the out-of-the-park out of park community made the case and their ratings were tweaked up. But, you know, I know right now. I'm like the guy in the internet comment section with a victim complex about my favorite team. But again, you know, this is tongue in cheek, but also, but also I'm right, okay? I'm also right about this. And don't leave comments about the player, the player or players you think aren't rated right. There's only one answer. The answer is Kyle Bradish. Any other suggestion is wrong. That ain't an insult, it's just a fact of life, all right? So I've identified the one underrated player in this game. So any comment left about other players, I just want to tell you right now, you're wrong, I'm right. Let's get in to why Kyle Bradish needs some respect put on his name here. And his ratings tweaked a bit. Zips. All right, so let's jump over to fan graphs here. We're looking at Stuff Plus from 2023 for 127 pitchers who threw, I think it was like more than 100 innings. I set the, uh, set the old uh, filter at. I know, Stuff Plus isn't the same as Stuff. I know, last season isn't the same as a projection. But here we've got Kyle Bradish, third in the league, third in the major leagues in Stuff Plus. Graham Ashcraft, Corbin Burns, Spencer Strider, Hunter Green, Bobby Miller. This is the company that Kyle Bradish keeps. So, let's hop on over, out of the park. We've got 212 starting pitchers here. We've got Stuff. Scouting is off. The default is set this year. I noticed the default this year allows you to go over the 20 to 80 scale, which I'm fine with, whatever. Uh, so Kyle, Kyle and his 50 stuff. Where are you, Kyle? We're still going down. We're going below Michael Kopech. We're going below Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan's good. Uh, you know, Aaron Savali, Cutter Crawford, the di Jack Flaherty. The disrespect is so... So real right now. We're still going down. Oh, there he is. Alphabetically in the Bs, so he's even higher than he could be at a 50. We're going to call this, what, a third of the way down out of 212? Nearly halfway if, if you just rank him at the bottom of the 50s. The bo Oh, wait, no, the bottom of the 50s. are That's more than halfway down. So he's, like, tied with, like, half in the middle of the pack. He's middle. Let's call him middle of the pack with a 50 with his stuff. All right. Now I also know same same caveats, control, control plus, etc. But you know, let's go back over to fan graphs here. Location plus. That's what I meant. I think I said control plus. Let's see. Where's Kyle? Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. There he is thirty eighth with or thirty ninth. Sorry to exaggerate. Only thirty ninth, not thirty eighth. With a with a one hundred three location plus. Pretty pretty good control. I'd say that's pretty good control. Uh, so here's out of the park with the 212. Let's look for Bradish. He's not in that group of bees. He's not. Uh, nope, not there. 
Where, where, Kyle, did I miss you? I'm actually serious. Around it. No, he's all the way down here. Look at this. Look at this. To get him to the top. That's like 75% of the way down the page. He's like 20th, 25th percentile in control among starting pitchers, despite having a location plus that was in like the top third, top 25% last year. So I think, I think that's a decent case that his stuff and control are underrated by zips, underrated by out of the park, and therefore there's a reason to tweak his ratings up a little bit. There's evidence to do so. But let's look at some more things first because I've, I've got more, more that we can show. So Kyle Bradish, let's look at your pitches, your, like the stuff plus of your individual pitches. Your slider's really good. Slider is, was the best slider in baseball last year, according to Stuff Plus. I mean, the best stat, I mean, was there a pitch above 171? I'm not seeing a single pitch above 171. Oh, you Darvish's changeup. Okay. So, according to Stuff Plus, Bradish's slider was the second best pitch in baseball last year to you Darvish's changeup. So let's see what Out of the Park says. This one I actually don't know. I'm just riffing off the top of my head right now. That beginning silliness I, I planned out a little bit. But uh, we're looking at sliders. All right. So let's see. I think he was what? in the fi I can't even remember what he was. It was something disrespectful, like a 45 or a 50. Oh, there he is. F slider of 45. <clears throat> now you can see here, I'd call this, excuse me on that cough, I'd call this top third. He's maybe like in the 60th to 70th percentile with a 45 slider. But his slider is one of the best pitches in baseball, not a like middle of the pack slider. So we need this slider turned up. It's obviously one of the best pitches in baseball. DeGrom, Strider, Green, Sale, like his, he should be at least up here in like the King, Cease, Glass now area. I'm going to need a little more respect for Kyle Bradish's slider. If out of the park isn't going to do it, you, you out of the park video watcher, you at least should, should let people know Kyle Bradish has a great slider. It, no, he has an elite slider. He is one of the, his slider is one of the best pitches in baseball. All right. So I'll get that straight. Look, his cutter's not bad either. His cutter was a 135, which was eighth best out of 100, well, not 127 guys through a cutter, but maybe they did. Let's see. Okay, so 92 guys threw a slider, uh, cutter last year. 92 guys who pitched 100 more innings through a cutter. Bradish is eighth. Now, I think his cutter is rated a little higher. Okay, so his cutter is he's tied so there's 260s, 255 and a bunch of dudes at 50. I think I can live with this. I think I can live with the cutter rating. Um yeah. But the stuff, the control and the uh the slider we we got we got to change something there. We got to change something there. There's probably more to dig into too in terms of his projections and you know, and looking at that versus what out of the park thinks. But I think there's actually one other thing that's that's worth looking at here. So let's look at baseball, savant, Kyle, Bradish. Oh, here we go. MLB percentile rankings. Um, but what you can do is you can go to leaderboards here and you can go to pitching and you can go to different different uh I guess rankings for for uh, according to Statcast, right? So here we've got the run value of each pitch thrown in Major League Baseball, and it's going to take a minute to load this. But I think I I had this load the other day, and I think it was like two thousand one hundred and six pitches uh, met this filter, right? And you'll have multiple you have guys on here with multiple pitches because it's all the different pitches that have, it's not pitchers, it's individual pitches, right? You know, it's loading down into the thousands now. Yeah, 2,000, I'm sorry, 2,461. This is run value added by a pitch. It's not a rate stat, like one run value 100, but, you know, 
just more proof of Kyle Bradish being elite. Out of the 2,000 whatever I just said, 500 whatever, Bradish's slider was 35th out of 2,500 pitches in run value. And Bradish, he has another one up here. Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. The curveball, the curveball, 15th in run value added. Hadn't even, hadn't even honed in on the curveball yet. Let me talk to you. Let's see. Bradish's curveball is a 45, which is just going to be disrespectful when we get down here. Yeah. His curveball was like 32nd among 2,500 pitches in run value add last year, and we've got him at a 45. Meanwhile, we're, we're tweaking Yankees players' ratings up. I don't know, man. I don't know. That sounds like some East Coast big city bias to me. We need some love on little old Baltimore. So, Kyle Bradish, I hope uh, you know. I hope that this video helps nurse the wound a little bit of the disrespect that I'm sure you've come across from the out of the park 25 ratings and likely in the zip ratings. And I just want you to know that there are people out there fighting the good fight for you, and we're going to continue to do it until justice is served here. Let's get that slider up. Let's get that curveball up. So get that stuff up. I can live with that. I can live with that. If we leave the control down, fine. I think it should be up. But I hope here that I have properly convinced you that Kyle Bradish deserves a bump up in those ratings. And if not, you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with other people choosing to be wrong and me being right. But again, if you post people in the comments that you think need a ratings boost, remember, you're wrong and I'm right. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Kyle Bradish for life.